something that I've been focusing on and really almost studying here lately is the practice of alignment, being in alignment, being in tune with myself, with the life I want to live. Alignment is the process of really connecting on a deep level with who we are, our purpose, and what's true for us, and then allowing that to guide everything else that we do. Creating this whole balance and this harmonious flow between our inner selves and the external world. And guess what? Our homes can be a key place to work on this because our homes are already these special sacred little spaces where we can chill out, recharge, and find peace. It's already where most of us anchor and ground ourselves. And so it's important that we have alignment within our homes. You won't believe how much aligning your living space with what you truly care about can do for your well-being. Seriously, it can totally transform your life. And it's all about finding that sweet spot where your home reflects your values and your goals. And it brings you this amazing, balance of clarity and inspiration. So let's dive into some practical tips to help you bring some of that awesome aligned vibe into your home so that you can create a space that's perfectly in sync with who you are and what you want. Now, a good place to start in creating alignment in your home is gonna be to declutter and to organize your living space because clutter can disrupt your flow and create these mental and physical obstacles, this chaos inside of your space. Let go of the physical items that no longer serve a purpose or resonate with your values and your goals. You might even consider a less is more approach, creating space for what truly matters to you. Now, the method of decluttering that I teach is to select rather than sift, which is actually a great method for making sure that your space is in alignment. I share more about this on this video, the five mindset shifts that will change the way you declutter. So the way that this works is instead of digging through the clutter and focusing on the clutter, which can lead to overwhelm and keeping more things that really aren't in alignment with your space and with what you're wanting, to declutter by selecting, which is a method of curating. And this is an empowering act because you're choosing what to keep based on your intention of what you want for that space and what's valuable to you. Remember, as you physically clear out the old, you're also creating room for new energy and new possibilities to flow into your life. But also, aside from decluttering, organizing your items in a functional way that supports your goals and places things of value and inspiration in the forefront in your line of sight is another powerful way to create alignment in your home. Plus, organizing things in a functional way just makes it easier for you to access what you need and it helps to keep that energy flowing smoothly throughout your space. Number two is to surround yourself with inspirational elements. So what's the vibe of your home currently? Is it chaotic, disorganized, cave-like? with all the blinds closed so it looks like you're in a bat cave. Infuse your space with elements that make you happy and serene. Maybe that's natural light or soothing colors, meaningful decor. Consciously curating your home environment brings harmony and alignment into your everyday life. And that, of course, is exactly what we're going for here. You're constantly interacting with and surrounded by these things. Now, everything starts in the mind, right? That's why visualization and using reminders to keep things top of mind are such powerful tools to keep you in your zone, whatever that zone is. Well, inspiration and vision are key tools of alignment. So surround yourself with inspirational elements that reflect your goals and your intentions. This absolutely doesn't need to be clutter. It doesn't even need to be stuff, really, although it can be. Something as simple as colors and materials that you choose for a space can inspire certain moods and behaviors. But you could totally find some simple ways to display or incorporate your inspirational elements into your decor by way of meaningful quotes, affirmations, or artwork that uplift and motivate you, or even a screensaver for your computer. Anything that keeps you aligned and inspired to take purposeful action. Number three is to cultivate mindfulness. Our homes and routines kind of dance together. One supports the other and it creates this whole symbiotic cycle that can either powerfully support you and be in total alignment with what you want, or they can work together to sabotage your intentions. So take mindful eating, for instance. If you surround yourself with junk food, it's bound to influence your snacking habits or your routine to go grab a bag of chips out of the cabinet and munch down. And this is all part of that dance between our environments and our routines and how they influence each other. So what if if you integrated intentionally mindfulness exercises into your daily routine instead. Trying things like 
meditation or deep breathing or even just mindful eating. Like it can be something really basic. But these practices help to cultivate self-awareness, clarity, and alignment of thoughts and actions. They not only help you to align your own thoughts and intentions, but they can also inspire you to find new ways of aligning your home. So you can start on the routine forefront or the home forefront, but I recommend that you try a little bit of both. Make dedicated time for these activities in your routine and create a calm and quiet atmosphere to fully Fully immerse yourself in the present moment. By cultivating mindfulness, you can positively align your inner world with your external environment for even more peace and focus. Now, my personal mindfulness practice starts with one of two things, yoga and my Aura app, which is what I use for meditation and mind work. I have shared about the Aura app before, but they were kind enough to sponsor this video. I've even created a shortcut on my home screen that goes directly to their app. That's how much I use it. So Aura is an all-in-one mental wellness and sleep app with the world's largest mental wellness library, over seven million downloads and the best of Apple rating. They partner with hundreds of coaches and therapists worldwide, which makes them the most diverse option with an extensive selection of mindfulness meditations, stories, sleep tracks, live coaching, CBT, and even spirituality and prayer. Just whatever it is that you need and are searching for in order to get yourself back into alignment, you'll find it there. And Aura's AI continuously learns what you're into and provides you with more of the same in your personalized daily recommendations. Lately, I've been really vibing with Daniel Raccao, just his voice, his positivity, and his general perception. Actually, a good bit of it is about alignment. That's mostly what I've been focusing on here lately. But whatever you're looking for, the first 500 people who sign up using the link in my description will get a free trial and an exclusive 25% off of the Aura Premium. And last but not least, embrace authenticity and harmony for more alignment in your home. Now, alignment thrives on authenticity. It's really all about being your most real self and living according to that. So it's important that your home environment reflects that as well. In other words, your space doesn't need to be what you see everyone else doing. It doesn't have to be monotone or neutral if that's not you. There's no reason not to incorporate reminders of your own unique gifts and talents and passions into your home aesthetic. Alignment is not about rigidly controlling every aspect of your home and life. It's about embracing the flow and just kind of surrendering to the process. Maybe you're not sure what exact steps are gonna make your space its best aligned version right now, and that's totally fine. Embrace the uncertainty and trust that as long as the intention is there, harmony is going to happen. It may take some trial and error, but that's awesome. Speaking of harmony, I recommend considering different ways of harmonizing different areas of your space to create a cohesive, inviting atmosphere that supports your well being. So, pay attention to things like the layout and the furniture, like we mentioned earlier, to make sure that it promotes a sense of flow and ease. You can also strategically use light to create ambiance and warmth, and choose colors that promote relaxation and stimulate positive energy. Bringing nature indoors can also foster a deep sense of alignment with the natural world, which can be really helpful. A lot of people find that really grounding and even elevating to introduce things like plants and flowers and fresh air into your home to create a vibrant and nurturing atmosphere. You might even take this a step further by designating specific areas of your home as sacred spaces like a yoga spot or a reading nook, you know, a little spot that's yours where you could retreat. And this is another great opportunity to really personalize that space with elements that resonate with you. The biggest return of investment that you can get from your home space is the feedback loop that it provides. And this is no exception when it comes to finding alignment in your space, because bringing your space into alignment with you and with your goals and with where you want to be is going to help you to keep yourself in alignment, right? And then keeping yourself in alignment and staying topped off with things like mindful practices is then going to help you to further keep your home in alignment. And it's just this beautiful feedback loop that just keeps going and going and I think that it's really awesome. Hopefully you got some cool takeaways from today. And if you have anything to add, of course, I invite you to add your own thoughts and experiences down in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm told that that really helps the algorithm and I will chat with you all next week.